In this website training video, we're going to cover how to upload a new theme to your WordPress website and enable that theme to change the look of your site. Here we are on the home page of our newly created WordPress site. And as you can see, we have a theme that's installed already. In fact, every WordPress installation comes automatically set with this new theme, which is called 2011. However, you can easily change the entire look and feel of your site simply by uploading another theme and testing it out. So we're going to do that and the first place we need to go of course is to the dashboard. So since we're still logged in we're going to click here to go to the dashboard and once we're here inside the dashboard all we need to do is go down to the appearance tab and click on the disclosure triangle to expose the options and then from there we just need to click on themes. In this section of the WordPress dashboard, it shows us what themes are currently installed on our site, as well as which theme is currently the active theme. Uh, right now, we have at the top our active theme, which is 2011, which is the default theme for WordPress. And you can see down below here, we also have 2010, which is the default theme from last year, obviously. However, we can have many more themes in here if we wish, and it's very simple to add them to your site. All we need to do is go up here to the tab that says Install Themes. In the Install Themes panel, we have the option to do a few things. The first, of course, is that we can do a search based on a term, an author, or a tag. And that allows us to find something that we're looking for based on a keyword, such as fun, for example. We also have the option, if we prefer instead, to search for themes based on the features that they have. And we can fill in some checkboxes here to sort the display based on the color of the theme, the number of columns it has, the width of it, or possibly some of the features that it has in it. And the rule of thumb here is that it's probably best to just check as few options as possible just to make sure that you get a broad range of themes to choose from. And in this case what we would really like to do is focus on some features. The first feature we'd like this site to have is a custom header which will basically allow us to upload an image into the header of our website fairly easily. So we're going to put a checkbox next to that. And we're also interested in a website that allows us to customize the colors of the site as well. So we're going to put a checkbox next to that. And those are our two main criteria for a theme. So we're going to leave the others unchecked and then we're simply going to go down to the Find Themes button and click on it to find the themes that are available in the WordPress repository based on those two search criteria. So here we are inside of the results page for the WordPress theme directory and here we can scroll down and see that there are several themes. Of course you can also see that not only do we have a thumbnail of the theme but we also have quite a bit of descriptive text underneath to sort of explain what the theme can do, what options are supported, uh, as well as perhaps compatibility with various web browsers. We also have the option to preview the theme before we install it by simply clicking on preview, which is going to launch a preview of the theme as if it were installed on our site. And in the case of this theme, we can see that it actually looks quite a bit different than the thumbnail we were just viewing. Uh, this can happen sometimes when previewing themes this way, and it has a lot to do with the fact that some themes have extra options and features which can't be displayed in this preview format, but actually require a little bit of setup on your part. So if you do happen to notice that the preview doesn't look quite the way you expected, that's a very good possibility. However, the theme is probably a good choice if you like the way it looks in the thumbnail. In this case, we're going to skip this theme, and so all you need to do is go up to the upper left-hand corner and click on the close button to close this window. And we're going to take a look at another one. This theme here has a nice dark color, so let's take a look at it. Click on preview again, and here we can see the theme, and it looks very close, although there's still probably some setup involved. But if we scroll down, we can get an idea of what the elements of the blog might look like, as well as possibly what some of the headings are going to look like for the sections we break up on our, on our pages. Also, we have an indication of what paragraphs look like and what links look like with this theme. Formatting for bulleted lists and other elements that you would see on your WordPress website. And we happen to like this theme, so we're going to go ahead and go back to the Close button, close this, and then we're going to click on Install to install this on our site. 
It's going to ask us very quickly to verify our selection. And all we have to do is click on Install Now. All we have to do now to use this theme is to go back to the Themes option inside of the WordPress navigation for the dashboard. And now you can see that when we're on that page that we do in fact have this theme installed. Once we're here, we have the ability to either activate the theme or we can preview it once again, although in this case we just previewed it, so there's no need to go through that step again. And of course we can delete it if we choose that we don't like it. In this case, we're going to activate the theme. It is now listed as the current theme for our website. We're also presented with a couple of options for what this theme can do, both in terms of widgets, custom menus, as well as some of the customization options that this theme may offer. And we're going to go ahead and click on that and see what the options are for this particular theme. And in this case, as you can see, there are quite a few settings that are available for this theme. And this is not uncommon for themes in the WordPress directory, that they'll require just a little bit of setup before they're actually ready to go. We're going to go ahead and get out of this panel, and we're going to switch back to our main themes area. And we're going to very quickly click on the name of our site in the top of the header to take a look at it and see how our new theme looks. So here we are actually on our site using our content, and you can see that we have our custom theme in place. There's going to be a little setup involved still because you can see that our navigation has changed somewhat. But if we click on the blog page, we can see the formatting for the blog. And this, of course, would be a lot more interesting if we had content in our site, which we're going to be dealing with in future videos. But for now, you can see that it's fairly easy to switch your themes. And the nice thing to know about WordPress themes is that, in a sense, this is very much like putting new clothing on a mannequin. In this case, our WordPress site is the mannequin, and the theme is the clothing that we're putting on top of it. So in this way, we can switch themes pretty seamlessly and not worry about doing anything to damage our site in terms of the content, the pages we've created, or any other work that we've done in setting up our WordPress installation. From here, we can actually go directly to the theme section by clicking on Appearance and selecting Themes from within the admin bar. And we're actually going to reactivate the 2011 theme that was installed as a default on our site. All we need to do is click on Activate. And now we can see that it is once again our current theme. And if we go out and visit the home page of the site again, we can see that here is our website exactly as it was before. No changes at all. All we've done basically is change the clothing of our site and done nothing to affect the settings or anything else that's inherent with the WordPress installation itself. In future videos, we're actually going to cover how to customize this theme, in particular the 2011 theme, as it's a pretty powerful theme and has a lot of customization options right out of the box. So in this case, this is the theme that we're going to use moving forward. However, you can see that it's really pretty easy to browse and experiment with other themes if you decide that you're looking for something a little different than what's provided in the default of WordPress.